Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Six Man Blitz. I'm Jake Lynch. I think the Steelers got the steal of the century. Hiring Brian Flores as their linebacker coach. Might be the most qualified linebacker coach there's ever been. Gotta be. <laughs> what's up, everybody? I'm Micah. I've seen a start one, bench one, cut one. Dame Lillard, Kyrie, and Russ all at their peak. Now, if you're not cutting Dame Lillard, you're wrong. That's all I'm going to say on that. I guess I'm wrong, Max. I'm cutting Russell Westbrook. I don't care what anybody say. I'm cutting him. Russ at his peak. Bro, I don't care. He was on a team by himself, averaging triple double a night, because nobody else could score the ball besides Stephen Adams. When you're, I'm number two option is Stephen Adams. You should be getting forty points a game. You should be getting all these assists. I don't want to hear, it, man. Well, look at I, it like this, bro. Every team Russ is on, they go to the playoffs. Even they, they might have some drama, some stuff going on in, in midseason, you know. But with the Wizards, went to the playoffs. Thunder, with those years, he went to the playoffs without Durant. So he always goes to the playoffs. There's but a Dave, reason, though. There's a reason Kevin Durant left. There's a reason can, LeBron wants him. There's a reason day. LeBron wants him out. There's a reason <laughs> nobody wants him on his team. We could probably get into that a little later, but you know, Russ should, Russ should have been in the top seventy-five. Over he Dave. was. I think. I think. I think he was? He was. Yeah, because he got the triple double record. He's got to be. In. So, but welcome back to Six Man Blitz. We got a great show for you guys today. I got to start off Aaron Rodgers. Everything. And did he? Is he going to retire? His latest Instagram post, what we think of that, when I'm Pat McAfee, all of that. Yeah, so it's it's always someone Aaron Rodgers, always got to stay in the intention. I'm going to Chris Paul, he's out six to eight weeks. Could this be big for a team like the Warriors or the Grizzlies? How is this going to affect the Suns? We're going to Kirk Cousins. Rumors about him going into the Panthers? So there's some other rumors going on, so we'll get into all that. Donovan Mitchell, Damian Lillard, and Zion Williams. Who is out next? What big superstars out next? Then we finish up All Star Weekend talking about dunk contest, pro contest, All Star Game, NBA 75th, what we didn't like, all that. Because NBA, I think the NBA All Star Weekend is the best All Star Game, hands down. Uh, it's so gotta it's got to be, uh, even with dunk contest not being that good, I think there was still some good things to take out of it. But remember, just the, the subscribe to Six Man Blitz, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, where you listen to podcasts. The boys are on there, man. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We post it more on, on TikTok and, and YouTube shorts. Sorry, we're going to be posting some more clips and everything on there. So definitely go, go check it out on there. Uh, getting some more followers, TikTok and everything. So that should be good. Help us out. Go follow us on there. And I think that I think that's it. We got anything else for wrap it up? Wrap it up. Hey, let's get into it, man. Touchdown oh, Bears! No way! Hello, you play to win the game. Let's go to eat a damn snack. All right, we're back. Start off right away with Aaron Rodgers posting an Instagram thing talking about gratitude. And he took some time off to, you know, kind of relax and, and take all things in. And then he posted all this, his IG picture of people he's grateful for. I don't think people have talked about enough was that last Instagram post. The last picture, it's it's he's not picturing it. It's because he and how they always do national anthem. It's, it's yeah, Randall Cobb and Devontae. Yeah, and he's in the middle, and then he posted a picture, and he wasn't in it. It was just those two. I think that's saying more. Picture, you know. He said he was crying when he saw that photo, though. You heard that too. Aaron Rodgers, he's like, when I saw that photo, I was crying because they saved the spot for him where he's usually at for the National Anthem. I think that's just to tell you something's in the future. I think I might see more of that in the future. Hopefully, yeah, man. Any any time, any chance we can get of these uh, rumors, you know, Aaron Rodgers going somewhere else, remember, that's great for us. The Bears fans, we're eating that shit up. <laughs> no, yeah, but uh, there's no way Aaron Rodgers retires, though. I think a lot of, that was not a lot of people's yeah. initial reaction just because it looked like a retirement post. No, you know what else is crazy, though? If you, like, watch the interview with the Pat McAfee show, right, when he came on, there was a woman in the back laughing. You heard that? No, during I, the interview. I didn't see that. So there was a woman in the back laughing, and there's, you know, some theories going on. It's, you know, the girl he and, um, like, they just split up. Yeah. It's, there's some rumors that it's her, so he might not even be retiring. He might even still be going after that ring. Who knows? <laughs> hey, at least he's going after one ring. Right, <laughs> he's not gonna get the other. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna get the other. Um, 
But I feel like Aaron Rodgers, he does this all the time. He's trying to stay relevant in the news. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, there's a week that they're not talking about him. He's, hey, I got to do something. So I got to talk about me. It's Aaron Rodgers. do something cryptic. <laughs> he's like he's like the LeVar Ball of, of NFL. He's always constantly putting stuff out. Hey, don't forget about me. And make sure in the news. Because you literally turn on ESPN, what are they talking about? Aaron Rodgers and All-Star Weekend. Every only day. Thing, only thing <laughs> they talked about. And it's like, bro, who, who cares about Aaron Rodgers? He's not going to retire, none of that. They they locked in that Pat McAfee show, seeing if he's going to do it. And he starts off, you're not going to hear nothing from you. And that's, that's, no, what, you, that's what you thought, though. You seen a bunch of those like videos of like Pat McAfee and them on the boys getting ready for their yeah, <laughs> yeah. and they're no, all like teeing up. Yeah, it's crazy because like really like anytime Aaron Rodgers does anything, ever the news people are eating that shit up. They're like, all right, we're gonna put that on the next show. That's gonna be our opener. It's crazy, man. And he didn't even have to do anything. Like he didn't even have to talk about football at, on the football Pat McAfee season show. is over. He didn't <laughs> even have to talk about the football. He didn't even have to talk about football on the Pat McAfee show. They were going to take something from the Pat Maggie show and turn it into football. Yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter what he does. That's just how big of a role, big of an impact Aaron Rodgers has. And that's just no, how yeah, I, was, I was watching first take, and they were talking about, like, oh, the interview with him. And they were like, yeah, I don't even care. He lost to the 49ers. I'm like, yeah. That's <laughs> like, what I'm saying. That's, it that, that quick. And a lot of people don't like Aaron Rodgers now because the whole vaccine thing and everything going on there. So a lot of people tear their opinions on Aaron Rodgers. So... <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. He's not retiring, though, but I feel like we always got to talk about Aaron Rodgers somewhere, you know, one way or another. But he's going to be in Green Bay next year. Sad, but it's probably going to happen. It's probably going to happen. We we get every year. It's just like the Russell Wilson rumors. Every year. Yeah, those shits, like, every year. Oh, they're going to get Darius Slay four first-round picks, like. <laughs> the Eagles are not trading three first-round picks to Russell Wilson. It's not going to happen. Darius Slay? Like, that's that's way too much. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's, of course, going to be thrown out there. They have picks and everything. Let's let's shift in the NBA real quick. Chris Paul out six to eight weeks. But he played in the All-Star game. I thought, that was, I thought that was a little weird. Two minutes, too. Not one. <laughs> and he, he got <laughs> mad at Rudy Gobert setting a screen on him. And it's like, what is Rudy Gobert supposed to do? Like, he's playing right. basketball. He's You're setting the screen. The he's, in the, he's, he's in the game. What do you want? Not to, he's setting the screen. It's terrible. But, hey, with this, like, Chris Paul injury, I think that the Suns are – I mean, because there's 24 games left. How many games do they have to – I mean, it's a tight race. It's not like it's the East. The right. Suns and the Warriors are ways ahead. But I think the Suns team is deep enough – to stay at that first or second seed. And they're six game, six and a half games above the Warriors. And yes. I think I think Devin Booker is gonna have a huge stretch these next 24, you know, games, like you just said. DeAndre Aiden might, you know, have a bigger role. Campaign now. is coming back. And when, and he, when is coming back. Chris Paul was out, he was hooping. He was in the hoping. Playoffs. He was hoping. So I don't think the Suns, you know, nothing happens to them right now. But you know, I think Devin Booker's number is about to go up. I think I think this is good because he's gonna start feeling us up way more. Yeah. For the playoff start and Aiden too. He checks. <laughs> so if you get, you know, Devin Booker going and going, and because I saw the odds today, I think the Warriors and the Suns had the same like odds and when they had a championship. But you got to think at the West, though, you got the Suns and the Warriors, right? Mm -hmm. Who's like that third team in the West? Just wait, though, because people are coming back from injury, bro. Denver is supposed to get Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray in uh, late in March. These teams are getting healthier. Paul George might come back. Kawhi Leonard's there. There's some rumors about that too. So the West could get a lot stronger. I think I think the third best team in the West, and I'm still gonna say it, is the Lakers. The, Grizzlies. the Lakers. You don't you don't want it. You Grizzlies don't want right now. If you're the Grizzlies, you don't want to see a healthy LeBron and AD. I, I, that goes without saying. You want to see healthy Russ, though. <laughs> you do want to see healthy Russ. You want to see healthy Russ out there. Because if Russ on John Moran, oh, oh, yeah. um, But I, I think because the West is not like the East. The West has two teams. And if the Suns and Warriors don't make the championship, I'll be surprised. I'll be very surprised. But if you look at the East, there's like six good teams. You got the Cavs, yeah. Bulls, Nets, uh, Heat. Heat, Sixers, Bucks. and Bucks. Two of these teams aren't going to make the second round. It's just crazy to think. Maybe even more. But you know what I've been 
hearing, but I heard something today. I was watching, uh, I think Max Kellerman's show, right? Uh, just on YouTube, put it on. He compared the Grizzlies to the Bengals and Joe Burrow and John Morant, which is an interesting comparison. You know, a team that is too young, that is young, young but comes out and does it way better than they should you know shouldn't be there at this age but John Moran the Grizzlies team is very deep they got shooters all around and they do I have a great talent around hey I wouldn't be surprised if they make it possibly third second round I'm not gonna say finals because I, I don't know yet but, but you gotta think about to look out though for you gotta look out for them but they're experiencing against teams like the Warriors and the Suns doesn't match up and I think that can hurt them later on because the seven-game series is different than one game against the Titans and the Chiefs. Didn't, didn't though last year, though, didn't they take the Jazz to, like, six games or five games? or was it? Uh, I'm not sure. But it is the Jazz, though. Anytime, <laughs> anytime it hits April, that, that, that shoe doesn't fit, uh, you know. <laughs> you're, always, you're always high in the Jazz, too, bro, in the regular season. <laughs> hey, when we talk about Donovan Mitchell and everything, I'm, I'm going to get – <laughs> That is my guy, and I think he's going to get out of there, but – uh, I do like the Jazz, but you know they're not winning nothing. It's it happens every year. They're not. It's, they're a regular season team. They're not winning nothing. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, let's get into Kirk Cousins now. Uh, there's been a rumor out there that they could possibly swap quarterbacks and maybe some other picks in there. Uh, I've seen a lot of rumors, and the Panthers have called for Kirk Cousins, and I don't think this makes sense for the Panthers. Literally, they just did the same shit last year. Yes. You go and trade for a quarterback. Yeah, it has some good uh, potential. Well, Kirk Cousins is definitely better than Sam Darnold, but just screw it, man. Just draft a quarterback. You, you had the six to, picks. Right. Draft a quarterback. No one go before Go ahead and do, go that route. Try something new. Go and trade for somebody. Kirk Cousins is probably going to look a lot different than he does in Minnesota because he's, like, with the weapons, the offensive line, like, no, all that stuff, Matt Rule. I'm not really sold on their coach. No, I'm not sold on Matt Rule, but the Panthers are in win-now mode. The NFC South – you got to think about it. Tom Brady leaving the, the NFC all South those, is going to be weak. All those free agents, the Matt Ryan and the Falcons weren't that good last year. The Saints, a lot of turnover, new new head coach. The NFC South is wide open. Any team. South so, the, grabs. so the Panthers want to win now, but if they take in Kirk Cousins, $45 million they got to take. He has a $35 million base salary and a $10 million bonus. And now, compared, compared to Sam Darnold, who only has $18 million. Now, if you bring in that, you do that, you won't be able to bring back guys like Stephon Gilmore, Hassan Riddick, those guys that make your defense help you win now, you won't be able to do that. The Panthers could low-key, they can take uh, the blueprint that the Legion of Boom had, a great defense. Because you got to think, you, they, they got a nice defense. They got yeah. Stephon Gilmore. They got, some, they got some young talent. They could do that Legion of Boom theory, draft the quarterback, so it doesn't, you know, because if they get Kirk Cousins, forty-five million, but if they draft a quarterback, it's not going to be that much. So they could do them build around them. That DJ Moore, Christian McCaffrey, and with the Kirk Cousins, though, like, what do you are you? Is a chance? Are you trying to win a championship, or are you just trying to get to the playoffs? Yeah, kind of thing. Two different things. I don't things. think Kirk Cousins is going to win you a championship because it's like the Colts. The Colts got, you know. Say, Carson, uh, Wentz. Carson Wentz, they swung and missed on him. They're just trying to get to the playoffs. Yeah. The Rams got Matthew Stafford. They were trying to win a championship. Yeah. And that's Huge what difference. <laughs> Huge <laughs> difference. Huge difference quarterbacks trying to trade for. And yeah. I think that's like you're trade, you're like trading for like Kirk Cousins and Matt Ryan. Two different things. Hey, Matt Ryan will still get it done, though. I, I, <laughs> no, but I'm saying Matt Ryan is a better trade asset than uh, yeah. Kirk Cousins. Yeah. yeah you're not winning. You're not winning. With Kirk Cousins. Matt <laughs> Ryan's been to the Super Bowl for. Yeah. He could he could possibly do that for you. Um, but now you know, switching back to the NBA, there's a lot of rumors with these top NBA guys. And I, I think I, stars. <laughs> yeah, they're not happy with where they want to be. And I think just the three main players, Zion Williamson, Damian Lillard, and Donovan Mitchell, who is the first person? that you think of that list is going to leave their team first? I think I think it's going to be Zion. Dame Lillard is going to be the last person, I think. I think so. Because if you think about it, all the shit that it would take for him to leave already happened. They traded everybody. Like, what more can you say? And every answer, every time they keep asking him, I'm staying in Portland no I'm matter what. I'm win. Right. 
It's gonna be a minute, bro. He's gonna be one of those guys that never never get to the, the NBA uh what which one got NBA finals. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those players. It's sad to see, but he's he's stubborn. <laughs> Damian Lillard, he's gonna be the next Phillip Rivers. Yeah, <laughs> literally, that's the perfect comparison for him. He's gonna be the next Philip Rivers. Never, he's never gonna leave town when he should have, and he's never gonna win anything. Cause hey, I've seen some trades, some some uh, things saying like, "Oh, would you trade LeBron straight up for Dame Lillard?" And I'm like, "Why would? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> why would either sides do that?" No, that doesn't that doesn't help you at all. Nah, it doesn't. The team. Uh, I think, though, I think it's Donovan Mitchell. I think Donovan Mitchell is next. You think he's going to leave before Zion? I think so because I think he, he's been growing problems with Rudy Gobert ever since COVID. And, and you know, <laughs> ever since that whole thing happened, he's been growing, you know, growing pains and everything. But you got to think of like a team. Think about the Suns, what they did. They got, they were a young team and everything, and they were doing good. They got they brought in a veteran like Chris Paul, changed the whole team. Mm. Tell me a team like the Hawks won't do that for Donovan Mitchell. You keep Trey Young with that too? Keep Trey Young, have Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell. Donovan that might Mitchell. be something. So the Hawks, I got some other teams too. You trade someone, Celtics, trade a Tatum or a Brown, bring in Donovan Mitchell. You gotta do something with the Celtics. Celtics need a new, you know. They just need something new. I think, yeah, they are going to be the next pair to break up. I think they yeah. have. They have to be. What do you gain? What do you gain from those two? Well, you know, they. What are they right now? Seven seed playing in the playing tournament. And dude, they tried their hardest to get to the seven seed. Yes, they were they're trying. They're, they they're some games yes. to get to the seven yes. seed. Yes. Think about the Knicks. I like the Knicks. Could happen. They. This is this is my best team for a guy to get Donovan Mitchell. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Pair Donovan Mitchell or a Damian Lillard in Minnesota, and they with get the, with they Anthony, get Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony, and Anthony, and Anthony Edwards. Edwards. Yes. Have that be like new big three, sort of say. I think that's probably one of the best young trios in the league you get because you got to have someone that can shoot, got to have mm -hmm. a big man, you got to have that young talent. And I think those three just go together. T Wolves are a missing piece of wet. And the West is kind of weak. Hey, but my last one, the Grizzlies. What is somebody like, bro? The Grizzlies are right there. Like you said, a young team, they can have this. I'm not saying that Damian Lillard because I think Dame and Ja are both good point guards. Donovan ja Mitchell. And Donovan ja. Mitchell. I mean, either of those teams, I think. The Knicks need him the most. <laughs> I think the Knicks, yeah, the Knicks need him the most. They try to get a Kemba Walker and everything. We'll, we'll talk about Kemba Walker Even, next even like just pairing, I think the Knicks are just going to try and go after Zion to get the pair of the three it, together. Yes, but they have to get rid of Tom Thibodeau. How do you trade for Cam Reddish? Everyone always talking about how good Cam Reddish is. You don't even play the guy. He, he gets like five minutes a game. <laughs> Bro, Anthony Edwards, you're one of the best young talents in the league, said hardest person you ever guarded. Cam Reddish. All these people <laughs> love to talk about Cam Reddish, but he doesn't play. They need That's, to fire Tom Thibodeau. They should be very – they should be ranked higher than what they are right now. It's crazy because last year, Tom Thibodeau was going to be coach of the year, one of the yeah. coach of the year candidates. You've got, you, you got to get rid of him. Yeah. It, it happened with the Bulls. He was he was coach of the year, I think, then it just it, – it cuts off. Yeah, his, like, his coaching style, uh, can't, you can't keep that up for no. too long. No, you can't. Uh, and, and that's that's all I got for for those for those. Uh, but like Damian I like Lillard, trade ideas so. though. Hey, if I'm playing 2K, and you know I'm my doing GM, a trade option, this, my this GM, yeah, I might have I might have to do something. But I, I do like the T Wolves. I think they are a player away from being that next young team, man. Carl right Anthony now Thomas, they're a playoff team. Their playoff team. Carl Anthony Towns is all star. You know, got to get Anthony Edwards up a little bit, but. Sneaky good. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Uh, and then the last last one, uh, last topic we'll talk about. All-Star Weekend. How much How much All-Star Weekend you watch? I'll start, I think we'll start off with that. I watched the dunk contest for a little bit. It's a little, like a little, you know, couple of dunks, but anytime you see nobody get a 50, that's when you got to turn off the TV. Bro. <laughs> so, celebrity I, game, too, was decent. Miles Garrett. 
So I can't believe the celebrity game was, was more popular than the dunk contest. And they didn't even have any celebrities in it. No, they really didn't have a lot of celebrities. And I'm looking at the roster. I'm like, it makes sense. Nobody wants to go to Cleveland. You got to think about Super Bowl was in L.A., all-star game in Cleveland. No one wants to do that trip, especially if you just went to L.A. Think about it. If, like, if Machine Gun Kelly is one of the main people you can name. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that's, like, that's like having Nick Cannon as one of the, the top people. Like, you know it's not going to be – that well, star. That's actually probably a celebrity, though. You think about it. It, it is. It is. But it's like, it's Nick Cannon. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't really watch that much of it, honestly. I'm not even, even going to sit here and lie. Dunk contest, obviously everyone watches that. But when you see Jalen Green dunk the ball 10 times and he's still he's still on his last attempt, you, you got to turn it off after that. Right? Yeah, it was sad. Dude, put on Tim's to dunk, too. <laughs> yeah, like Cole Anthony's putting on Tim's to dunk. And that, and was, that was probably my favorite dunk, too. <laughs> Just because he had Tim's on. It's sad. It's sad because the, the person you expect to win the best dunk never never wins. Like Jalen Green. You expected him to win. He's got the he most. He has the most bounce. But I, I don't – there's no way to change the dunk count. Everyone wants to – everyone wants to. We the only thing to change dunk you need the best players to participate, but more importantly, you need the best dunkers. Like like you seen the clip of Mac McClung, you know, going viral on that Twitter. That dunk was insane. He would have obviously won a dunk contest, but most people know who Mac McClung is, though. 700 k on Instagram. That's how many followers he had compared to a dude that was 95 on the Warriors. No one's even more 95 in history in the NBA. <laughs> Bro, no one even know no Warriors fans don't even know who this dude is. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> we got lucky. Obi Toppin win it because if I there's there's so much to do. Um, but just getting into the the whole thing, Le- LeBron, nice nice way to make it all about yourself again. Yeah, yeah. Cleveland still got an all star. Me too. <laughs> they literally he literally said Cleveland. It's like Cleveland having three all stars, and he, he including would- himself in it. I wouldn't be surprised if he went back to Cleveland, though. I wouldn't be surprised either because the Lakers aren't getting Bronny. The whole Bronny thing and, you know, tank for Bronny and everything. The Lakers are not getting – they don't have a first-round pick, though, 2027. And I'm not saying Bronny's going to be a first-round pick because he really shouldn't, but a team is going to reach for Bronny in the first round because they know they're getting LeBron out of it, too. Is I haven't is like Bronny, is, is he got some offers or something? Like, I'm trying to think. Like I, I think he does just because the name. But he's not even the top three player on Sierra. I don't. I don't even see his highlights or nothing. I don't like that. <laughs> like, he's not even a top three player on Sierra Ken. Because I know the one is uh, what's his name, Bailey Amari. Yeah, Amari Bailey. Bailey. His his yeah, he's um, called... mom. His mom was with Drake. Um, but yeah, I know he's cold. Um, but watching that game against Glenbar West, that's only game watched the Brownie. He Should they play Glenbard West? That's crazy. Yeah, the thing about it, nothing really popped off to me. And like, this guy's gonna be the next, uh, you know, big thing. It's, he made a couple threes and nothing crazy like that. But the Sierra Cannon coach doesn't release stats just because, like, they don't. He doesn't want anybody talking about Bronny and his stats, which is smart. Uh, kudos yeah. to that coach. Uh, he's really protective, Bronny, which I, I think is a good move, honestly. Yeah. Uh, but man, LeBron need to be on his son then like how he was in Space Jam. Oh, uh, yeah, bro, bro. He was on his son on his Space Jam. Oh, that's, I forgot about that. I kind of like to just forget about Space Jam. It's a thing. I, I had to watch that. But. I know. What's worse, Space Jam or the Lakers this year? It might be Space Jam, too, honestly. Yeah, we all watch the whole movie. It's close, though. It's bro, close. I think it's close, but, like, the whole thing, like, they were playing basketball, and they didn't even go by twos and threes. Yeah. <laughs> they, they shot a ball, and uh, Lola Bunny swatted 75 points. It's like, what? They got, they got points for a block? Yeah, the score for the game was just – I do think All-Star Weekend was cool, though. The whole NBA 75th thing was very cool. Uh, I got some names to throw out you for NBA 75th, though. Okay, let me I got three. I got three takes, uh, NBA 75th. Start off with the biggest snub, and I don't think this is close. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard was the biggest snub out there. I think he gets overlooked because the whole Shaq and the Fool and, you know, his time outside the Magic hasn't been that. But when he was on the Magic, dominant, man. Dwight Howard, eight-time All-NBA, eight-time All-Star, 
five-time all-defense, three-time defensive player of the year. He's the reason we never saw Kobe LeBron finals because he was a championship day. Think and about people, it. People don't talk about that enough. Dwight Howard is the reason. Bro, they don't talk about enough the team he went with the finals with. Yes. <laughs> Who was his second best yes. player? He do Turkaloo? <laughs> yes, you can't name me anybody else on that roster. He do Turkaloo. Matt Barnes, is that the year Kobe did the fake? <laughs> I think so. I think so, right? That's yeah. So people don't talk about it because he, like I said, Shaq in a fool. Everyone thinks of that, Dwight Howard. But hey, and he was a five-time rebound champion, two-time block champion, and he's a 2020 NBA champion. <laughs> He did get the Mickey Mouse ring. I think the next <laughs> one, next one, though, I think Kyrie Irving is better than Damian Lillard. I think so, too. I think I, he literally went to a finals. Damian Lillard, what has – what award has he won? He's just the Mr. Rookie of the Make Year. Guy. He's just Rookie Make of the Year. That's shots. it. <laughs> rookie yeah. of the Year, that's it. And he eliminated Westbrook, and he hit, he hit long threes and everything. Kyrie, though, went to championships, won championships. And he's, you know, if, he, if the whole vaccine thing, he would be one of the best players in the league right now. Yeah. Best handles of all time. Or if, like, great. some of the shit he'd be saying, like, the earth is flat. Exactly. Like, the, the stuff outside of basketball. A basketball. Was, affects yeah. him back, like, affects him <laughs> with basketball. People. Yeah. He's- He's easily, like, one of the best handles, one of the best finishers. Like, yep. you watch a game with Kyrie in it, it's insane. You, you're like, this guy is really good. That's that's what that's Uncle what I think. Drew, that's Uncle Drew, Uncle exactly. Drew, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think this last, I think, and I think this last take is gonna, it's gonna arch some feathers. You ready? I'm ready. Clay Thompson should have made it over Ray Allen. <sighs> Why Ray Allen specifically? <laughs> because because you gotta look at it. You Clay Thompson. Else out. <laughs> Clay, bro, because you look at this NBA 75. Who else are you gonna take out? So you gotta look at it. You gotta compare the positions. I think it's Clay Thompson had to get over Ray Allen. Bro, he's a better shooter than Ray Allen. Clay Thompson, okay. top three shooter of all that. time. Three time NBA champion. Ray Allen had to go to the Heat to go win a championship, ring chase the end of his career, right? <laughs> yeah. Clay Thompson, way better defender than Ray Allen. Ray Allen never finished top eight MVP voting. Top eight. <laughs> and then Clay is a five-time NBA All-Star. Clay would easily be on that list if he wasn't with Clay, Steph Curry, who's the greatest shooter of all time. But yeah. I do think Clay Thompson is better than Ray Allen, but people don't want to take Ray Allen out of it just because he was that first original great shooter. Jesus Shuttleworth, man. He got games. Jesus Shuttleworth, <laughs> he got games. Exactly. They Dude. don't want to take him out. But like, like you said, you were like, but after I said it, you're kind of thinking now. You're like, no, nah, I – after you give me the, like, think about it, though. It is true, though. Steph Curry does get in the way of his greatness. Yes. If you put Klay Thompson on another team, like, if he's the featured star, it'd go crazy. it go crazy. <laughs> Easily. Easily. We'll have, more, we'll have more games of him making, like, what was it, 30-some points off, like, what, four yes. dribbles or something? Yeah, crazy all, shit. yeah, he has all these amount of points, most most points in a quarter. He, he can do all these points with a, just catch and shoot. Klay Thompson, the fact that he didn't make NBA 75th is crazy to me. And he would easily made it if he if he didn't get all these double, back-to-back injuries. So now which one out of these three are you making the biggest argument for to make it? I think Dwight Howard's easiest argument, mm-hmm. but I think Klay Thompson is my best argument. So we take we put Klay on and we take off uh Dane Lillard. Is that, that what we're coming to the conclusion? I think I think that's a fair fair argument. I think that's – but I think Ray Allen – I think Klay Thompson – You got to have Ray Allen on there, though. <laughs> see? See, that's, every, that's, see what that's what everybody else is saying. You got to have Ray Allen on there. You got to have all these people. But, I, you know, I think some other people that got snubbed, like Tony Parker. But like, Tony Parker taking, did get snubbed. But who, but who are you taking off, though? I think I think that's a tough argument, it's, though. It's even a better is like numbers of why like his awards, all that stuff, his resume. It might be better than Dame Lillard, but is he better player than Dame Lillard? Yeah, he is a better resume than Dame Lillard, but Dame Lillard has been in Portland his whole yeah. life. Yeah. Whole career. <laughs> you put yeah. him with three other superstars like like uh he had in uh with the Spurs, different story. If you put Dame Lillard with 
Uh, Tim, Tim Duncan? Duncan? Ginobili? You don't even got to put him with Ginobili. Keep CJ McCollum. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Uh, man, I'm looking back. That Timberwolves take was pretty good. It's a good take. Dude, uh, <laughs> Timberwolves, like, even, like, how they – they have a big three right now already. Who who would you put in that, that third? D'Angelo Russell. Okay. I forgot, I forgot he was on that team. <laughs> the, like, but it, it isn't as big of a big three because you know, but if you were if you were to trade him, they he'd probably get in the trade. No, anytime in any trade rumors for the Timberwolves, he's always in there. D'Angelo Russell, has, he's he always has, in there. You'd have to get Angelo Russell. He's, he's, been, he's been hurt. They were trying to trade him for Ben Simmons. Was was Russell been hurt or he's been nah he's been playing? <laughs> he's averaging 19 a game though. But all right, man. What, what you got for closing remarks, man? Let's, let's wrap this thing up. Apparently, Draymond Green came out talking about Harrison Barnes. You know, there's some uh, tension between them two. Some Harrison Barnes holding a grudge against him because apparently him, you know, uh, trying to get KD to come to the Warriors, him crying in the car, everybody brings right. that up. But him trying to get KD to come to the Warriors rubbed Harrison Barnes the wrong way. But, I mean, Harrison Barnes got a check, so it shouldn't even matter. But, you know, Draymond Green didn't get the invite to the wedding, so – it's crazy. Yeah, the yeah. Check, check is always nice, but I think the, I think the rings last forever. And that's because I mean he's not gonna win shit. In right. Sacramento. You, got, you gotta look at it like that. Um, but he also chose to go there. Yeah. So you know, he could have took a pay cut easily to win another to win another ring or two, but my outro and he was he was bad on that Warriors team. People were talking about getting yeah. rid of him. Harrison Barnes yeah, yeah. his later years. Yeah, for sure. Um my closing remark, the Rams photographer. She, not, she, she was in that viral the video. Girl that broke her spine? She broke her spine. She's in a viral video. Matt Stafford said, I'm out, you know? And then, <laughs> But people are always like, what is he supposed to do in a situation? Uh, you know, she already fell and everything. He obviously should have helped her or whatnot, but he's also not in the right state of mind. They found her old tweets and canceled her. They were terrible. Like They were terrible. <laughs> As bad as it tweets, your old tweets can be, it was That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. But that kind of, like, who went through her, her Twitter, though? And that's that's kind of the thing I'm getting at. Like, how bad does something have to be to get canceled? Like, the person broke their spine and people are going through their old tweets. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's in, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, obviously, she, she, she was must bad. She burned some bridges, bro. Like, obviously, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Obviously, what she did was bad and everything and I think people you know like she must have burned a bridge so people must have been waiting for this moment or something but you know <laughs> nah was... yeah fuck her don't fuck her spine don't don't give her <laughs> don't wish her well <laughs> no, yeah so uh I, my, I got two actually so I got another one uh you see the new uh Victoria's Secret model oh the one with Down syndrome yeah <laughs> yeah I think it's an interesting thing to see it finally happening no, I seen a fi- I seen a dude do a stand up comedy on it for TikTok. I was gonna send it to you, but he was basically saying like, "How don't you say, gonna go?" Don't say nothing. Yeah, don't say nothing too crazy. No, no, no. He was just he was just laughed at it like, "Oh, like you got this. You got the hottest person with Down syndrome to do it. You should have picked somebody who like some dude in the bathroom who has like his pants all the way down while he pees. <laughs> somebody like that." <laughs> hey, um, but yeah, that's all we got for today's show. Hopefully, uh, get some more uh, interviews next week moving forward. I think we got some lined up uh, that we should get to. Um, but make sure to subscribe to Six Pan Blitz, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you listen to podcasts. The boys are on there, man. If you listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, hit that plus button next to the episode. Um, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, like I said, we're getting more active on those. Start doing some Instagram rankings or whatnot. Come out with different things like that. Uh, maybe get some draft content on there, some NBA playoff content on there. So definitely make sure to go follow us on there. And I, I, I think that's it, right? That's, that's all we got. Let's wrap it up. Hey, see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>